Hello everyone, how's it going? Aiden here. Uh, just wanted to show you a little test and uh, swabbing of some new inks that I got. Troublemaker inks, they're definitely a very highly sought after brand. I purchased these from Pure Pens in the UK uh, because they're, yeah, like I said, they're highly sought after and really not available that often. But I saw uh, that Pure Pens had gotten them in stock and so I jumped on it. By the time I had gotten there, Petrichor had already sold out. And yeah, so I was able to pick up these four. I had to get four to qualify for international shipping, so I got the three very popular color changing ones, or uh, Inky Rocks coined the term chromo shading, which I really like. And then I got this one, uh, Doña Victorina, which is supposed to be a sheening purple ink. So I'm very excited to try these out. Let's see what they look like and see if the hype is justified. The boxes are really nice. You can see it has their logo, Troublemaker inks, and then a little sticker showing you what ink it is. Ink for fountain pen, 60 milliliters, made in the Philippines. Really nice box. Simple, but you know, cool design. And then of course the bottle is really nice too. Uh, same sort of branding with the color on top, which I definitely appreciate. And yeah, these I'm very excited to try out. I've already tried them out before actually. I Not to break the fourth wall too much, but I already recorded this video uh, a few days ago when it, really, when it originally got here as like an unboxing where I actually unboxed them. But I accidentally deleted all that footage, so <laughs> whoopsies. Uh, I'm just going to do it again because I really like these inks and I really want to show them off. And yeah, I just want to kind of go through these inks and see how they look on different types of paper. So first I'm going to swab it and do some writing samples on Rhodia paper. And then I'm going to do some on Tomoe River 52 GSM paper. So first up, let's swab Troublemaker Abalone. Now, this one is a nice blue ink, and it has some tones of purple and just like a light grays as well. It's a really nice color. You can see there, so I put a little bit extra at the end. Really nice color variations here, good shading, and then the differences in color are really nice too. And then I'm going to use this Aurora Optima Viola with a 14K fine nib to test it out in a pen. Sirens in the background, sorry about that. <laughs> I gotta tell you, living uh, right near five different hospitals really does make it hard to go to sleep some nights with all the sirens. So anyways, this is... Troublemaker Abalone. I really am a sucker for blue inks, and this is a really special one. So, now with that one done, let's try the Troublemaker Sea Glass. Now, I apologize if I'm a little uh, low energy, but I got my second dose of the COVID-19 vaccine yesterday, which I'm very happy about. And uh, I'm feeling really under the weather, which I'm, <laughs> you know, not as happy about, but it comes with the program. And yeah, I'm just happy to finally be vaccinated. Pretty cool. Man, I really chose the time for the most <laughs> noises coming from outside to re-record this video, but that's okay. This is Troublemaker <laughs> C Glass. Wrong C. Okay. But yeah, I'm definitely feeling the side effects of the vaccine, but I figure it's much better than feeling the side effects from contracting COVID. So, you know, I'll take it. <laughs> Whatever, that's shared living, I suppose. Uh, you know, guess I gotta deal with it. The daylight's fading fast because I'm recording this 
uh, later in the afternoon, so I'd rather have background noises than bad lighting because I'd like to show these cool colors off. So this one is Kelp Tea, you can see on the cap. Another really nice color. I believe that's not the pen that this is in. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, this last one was an Aurora Optima with a fine flex nib. And this one is a Monteverde Ritma with an Omniflex nib. Troublemaker. Kelp T. Now, I'd really like to use these in flex nibs, but they are somewhat dry, so they're not really optimal for that. I guess that sort of comes with the program to get the properties that they do have. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not a chemist or an ink maker or anything like that, unfortunately, so I suppose I'll take what I can get because these are cool colors and, you know, Okay, so the fourth one is Donia Victorina. I haven't unfortunately heard that this does have a standing issue with demonstrators. And a, a pretty bad one at that. So, oops, I should swap it first. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, not a great thing to have in an ink. <laughs> but you know, Bay State Blue is super popular and that has a huge standing problem too. So I suppose if it's a, a good enough ink, people will be willing to make the sacrifice. And yeah, I really do like this purple. Normally I'm not a guy for warmer toned inks. I much prefer inks like this abalone, but this is a really nice color. Victorina, I believe is how you spell it. Donia Victorina, yeah. So it's unfortunate that it has standing issues, but a really nice color nonetheless. So yeah, those are the four inks that I got from Troublemaker on Rhodia paper. Sort of your, I guess, standard fountain pen friendly paper that most people have ready access to. However, I think it would look a lot cooler on Tomoe River 52 GSM paper. I do have a slight hoard of due to recent changes of how the paper was made, but they're all in notebook form, so let's swab them up in this notebook. You can see, let me get to the page here, this is how they look, so we'll swab them again. You can really see the color changes on this paper. And then I did some little drawings right here. So let's, uh, let's turn this upside down, why won't we? and swab them all back up again. It's also kind of cool to see how the inks dry and stuff like that. So, let's go with sea glass. And that is a really cool color and definitely pretty accurate naming wise as well. I like that these colors have really unique and interesting properties while also being relatively practical to use because this I could use on like notes and things like that just like the Birmingham inks that I unboxed a little bit ago it's the same sort of story here very interesting inks with unique properties that aren't so crazy that you can't use them for everyday type scenarios so that's sea glass. Now let's go for abalone. Let's get a good soak on that Q-tip and let's swab it up. I honestly really don't know which of the colors is my favorite. I think in terms of <laughs> purely on principle, I like the tones of this uh, abalone the best, but Really, the sea glass and the kelp tea have some really amazing variations that are very uh, exciting and just make me want to use them. So let's see, which pen do I have the abalone in? 
It's this one. It's probably, yeah, it's still got ink on it. So that's Troublemaker. Abalone. Pretty sweet. Then next we have Kelpty. I gotta say this one really does look nice on this paper. Just brings out all of the color variations that make this ink so popular. So let's write this one. <laughs> That's such a satisfying pop. Okay, so this is Troublemaker Cup Tea. Pretty nice color. Definitely more of a uh, unique, I don't know how to say, unique like color family, I suppose, because this is like you get teals and blues a lot in cool colors in fountain pen ink, but like a murky, gr like green, brown is a really cool color that uh, you don't really see a lot. And then, of course, the Donia Victorina should do pretty well in this Tomoe River paper in terms of sheen. Because that is what Tomoe River is all about. <laughs> That's for sure. So let's get a good, good helping of ink on there. And a little writing sample. Troublemaker. Donia Victorina. Yeah, I do gotta say, that's a really, really cool purple color. And even though I'm not one for colors like that, I find this pretty similar to Diamond Monblato's hat, although this is definitely a cooler toned purple compared to that one. They're both in kind of the same very saturated and consheen territory. I don't think the Diamond one can stain, so maybe I'll stick with that one more, but it's nice to have this, and I figured I would have paid more to just get the three and then pay for shipping. So, you know, I'll take it. So let's let these dry a little more, then show them off, and then wrap up this little overview of these Troublemaker inks. So first off, now that it's fully dry on the Rhodia, you can sort of see some of the sheen on the Donia Victorina. The light's kind of low out, so you won't really get the most of it. But it is there. And then, of course, the other really amazing colors. I gotta say, if you can find these, I would definitely recommend picking a few of them up. I do have Troublemaker Milky Ocean, which is another sort of chromo shading ink. Pretty similar to the Abalone, a little more purple, I think. And then I also have Mango and Sinulog Black, which are two of their other standard colors. I got one like they first launched as a brand. And those are great as well, so I really have nothing but good things to say about the brand. I would definitely watch out for the reported staining issues on the Donia Victorina, but yeah, I'm extremely happy that I got the chance to actually pick up these inks, which are so coveted, and I can't wait to use them in my pens for the foreseeable future. I hope the adjustment in light levels hasn't been too crazy throughout this video, but now that the sun is behind the clouds, I figured I'd open my shades a bit more to give you a little better view with these colors. And then the Antonia Victorina is still drying because it's a super saturated ink, but you can see on the dry sample that I have some really nice golden green sheen. So yeah, definitely all very cool inks. Kind of looks funny the way that I did this, but yeah, like I said, very happy to have these. Uh, thank you for listening to my vaccinated flu-like symptom groggy ramblings, <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed the look at these inks. I hope you get the chance to pick them up. I know it's not easy, but hopefully if you're looking for them, you will have the chance to pick them up soon, so... Yeah, thank you very much for watching, 
and if you enjoy the video do be sure to subscribe because I'll have more like this coming in the future and I will see you very soon I hope you have a good day bye